Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The United States Department of Defense is actively advancing the development and testing of directed energy weapon systems, which include high-energy lasers and high-power microwaves. These technologies are primarily aimed at countering aerial threats, especially drone swarms. Key projects in this domain comprise the Indirect Fire Protection Capability High Power Microwave, IFPCHPM, the Tactical High Power Operational Responder, THOR, and the Counter Electronic High Power Microwave Extended Range Air Base Defense, Chimera, systems. The IFPCHPM, developed by Apirus, is tailored to provide indirect protection against drones by neutralizing swarms with high power microwaves. Its initial deployment to the U.S. Army in November represents a significant advancement towards establishing defenses over a broad area. Apirus's Leonidas HPM system, a component of IFPC HPM, has undergone substantial development, including integration onto a striker vehicle in collaboration with General Dynamics Land Systems. Though specific modifications remain undisclosed, enhancements in lethality and software-driven capabilities have been observed. Recent government acceptance tests have validated the IFPC HPM system's effectiveness, safety, and compatibility with the Advanced Area Air Defense Command and Control FAADC2, systems. The latest iteration is heralded as the most potent and precise version thus far. The Thor system employs high-power microwaves to incapacitate enemy drones and has successfully undergone testing against drone swarms. It underwent a real-world trial in Africa in 2020, showcasing its capability to counter complex threats swiftly. Housed in a 20-foot shipping container, Thor is easily transportable by military cargo plane and requires only two personnel for assembly. Details regarding the Chimera system remain classified, but available information suggests its role in neutralizing electronic threats over an extended range, adding another layer of defense. These systems collectively aim to establish a comprehensive defense mechanism capable of effectively countering drone swarms. General Michael Eric Carilla emphasizes the importance of combining high-energy lasers for precise defense with high-power microwaves for broader coverage to address future aerial threats effectively. With an annual investment of nearly a billion dollars across more than 30 directed energy projects, the Department of Defense underscores its commitment to advancing these advanced technologies. Once operational, these weapon systems are expected to significantly enhance anti-drone defense capabilities, safeguarding deployed troops and critical infrastructure. That's all for now. See you later.